face maker fashion. run a business, I say. Can't even browse while he's with a client. It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, scissors, nail files. So many cuts one couldn't make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, who am I to deny the auspices of destiny? For we are celebrating, Master Figaro. You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Bar. Together, we shall transcend. A challenger, my lord tests me. This pity is awful. Will be your grave challenger. Savor your final breath. <laughs> Before becoming another witness to my sacrament. How fortunate. I don't know. Magic, isn't it? I'm just saying, maybe there's a reason for that. Weird. Weird. Stranger than Baldur's Gate. Invenium Beer! Show him who you are. No business, I say. Can't even browse while he's with a client. Stop queuing because you felt funny. I mean, yes, mostly. Why did you stop queuing then? I couldn't take standing in that godforsaken life a no moment. No way to run a <laughs> 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 a client. Oh. 
will be well. in your chest. Take the pain away. Take you! Oh, no traps, please. I'm going to enjoy this. Death! Steel spell or sweaty embrace. Minsk has you now!
business, I say. Can't even crowd. <laughs> I should have known it would be you. Thank you. If it had been the dwarf alone, we might have stood a chance. But these doppelgangers, oh, they swarmed us. We were paralyzed before we even had the chance to fight back. A rising star? You say? Then perhaps it's a good job I ran into him. I was on my way to the upper city when I heard a commotion. I stepped in to see if I could help. It's not every day you have the chance to catch a killer in action. Not even in this profession. These killings aren't random. In fact, they seem to be part of some sort of test. That document you showed me before, the one with the victims' names on it, that was the briefing. The killers paralyze their victims, take their hands as an offering for Baal, and make it look like the cult of the Absolute was behind it all. It grants them access to a tribunal. From what I could gather, it's some sort of rite of initiation for aspiring cultists to prove their worth. And it's taking place beneath Candle Hallow's tombstones. Like I said before, it's not something I can look into in an official capacity. But you... It's not a place I'd ever heard of, if I'm honest. But rumor has it there were some hidden cellars somewhere near the Elf Song. How did you. Perhaps it's best I don't ask. Do what you have to do. And I'll pick up where I left off the Upper City. When I'm done, I'll stop by the Basilisk Gate. If you've got anything. I must say, I'm damn lucky you showed up when you did. Can you believe what that monster was doing? I'll confess, it terrified me greatly. Can you imagine dressing entirely in red? <laughs> Jests aside, thank you. You forever have my humblest gratitude and a most generous discount on my wares. In the face of such horror, I don't see that I have much choice. Now, how may I help you today? Very good, sir. Now remember, fashion's a fickle mistress, so be sure to return. I'm ever so glad Master Figaro was saved. I'd have been out of a job otherwise. Can't believe someone would try and murder. He wouldn't hurt a fly. I am a gentleman who may venture where he pleases. It is you who must... Just yet, citizen. The whole place is a when crime scene. One red. Oh, oh, she 
just need to go past the boundary along the docks. My orders don't admit any exceptions. You know, if you just look the other way from all these people. Thank you for looking out for her. Now bring her back alive. She's too old for any heroic death nonsense. You wish to choke me to Commanders, put... This city... The Gazette reckons Lord Gortash is the second coming... I hear you've been causing Mother some trouble. Remember what I told you about causing Mother trouble? There was talk of your hammer and Minsk's head as the anvil. Good boy. Just remember, Fig has always wanted a hamster. Who would be proud to join such a warrior in battle? But Minsk would be dead. You are heard and understood, Ryan. When all of this is done, oh. you will dine on Tadpole for a month. My step. Just the sort he'll deal with. Stories, stories, get him right here. Can't you feel it? Bundles, Good day. What could be more pleasant than spending one's inheritance? Uh, though I don't imagine you would know. Metal screeches. <laughs> Old Lady Whitburn, the mother-in-law, never comes down to the lower city. I'm glad I'm not such a snob. Park's no place for a stroll anymore. More likely to find a muggin than a picnic these days. You feel an old teacher as squirm in the recesses of your mind. She has a tadpole. Or perhaps you'd find something bloodier. The absolute warriors are at work, just beyond here. We'd be wise to not interfere, brother. Nothing's going on. And even if there was something, you'd be wise to ignore it. Absolute's business. Got it? Now be off. You'll attract attention. In her name. Oh, 
He won't listen. And he's too fast to catch. Stupid dog. Yeah, that's the problem. Sparky is too good at running. I tried already. But I've only got little legs. Say, you're tall. Maybe you'd have better luck. Good luck. He's the fastest dog in the world! Run, 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 run! Oh, friend! Hello! Stop running. I won't be running anymore. Stop running to run better. Okay. See you later. Home, 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 home. My angel. I'm sorry for Wendell. He does get a touch, uh, over effusive about our courtship. Hey. Hamster hears and I obey. Someone hold Boo. He does not enjoy the bumpings to come. of this captain do not forget whom you serve 
Of course, I just thought you might need assistance. I... You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. The fist has a tadpole, but something's off. Not I. We. And we do not serve. Defective. Very well. Another offering to Baal. If you wish, Minsk will not judge. Quick! Must be quick! This mind is small, fragile. Listen now! Entering her mind is like stepping aboard a sinking ship. The architecture of her consciousness buckles and collapses. Thoughts yield to a flood of overwhelming power. The Elder Brain. Do not waste time! This mind cannot bear us. It turns to liquid. Listen, just listen. We learn. We grow. Loosen our clumsy bindings. Aid us. Necromancer, dead. Changeling and tyrant remain at odds. Kill them! You have a place in my grand design. The Elder Brain can control anyone with a tadpole? That's, uh, concerning. What? What happened? Why do I taste copper? Open up. Who 
are that lot? Hey, at the ready. Tavern review enthusiasts will note the absence of the landlord from this article while I read. You can remember it, Welcome. You have come far, I perceive. How may I... Of course, my child. Within limit. There's nothing to shut them up. Candle Hallows tombstones. door has red text on it reading all are weighted all are embraced none shall escape
The reddish symbol is vile and repellent. Flaming fists this way. Or what you heard. This room will be thy resting place. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Fiend and wash them down with steel. I think I could go another round. Understood.
we were going to be friends. Sully the ground you stand on. I have missed this. The adventure, the danger. The kicking of butts! gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants, each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Devella was right. Not just an imitator, but Saravok himself. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. 
But these are not aspirants. You have brought traitors of Baal into our midst. Harper Worm, the abdicating hero. Your keen sense for this city has withered in your absence. And you, man of stone, as you stood a statue, a helpless ornament, your city warped, changed, became ripe for the plucking. Saravok, Baal's least favorite son. Still tied to daddy's apron strings, I see. The history they share may be long gone, but the threat of violence between them is as fresh as newly spilled blood. Neither party will let the other walk out of here alive. What purpose do you have in bringing these heretics to the court of Baal? Speak, or death will be your final word. Simple. We beat him about the brow and butt until he was dead. Saravok once fancied himself Baal's chosen, until we put him in his place. Feel no shame for forgetting him. History shall do the same. These two have long meddled in my affairs, and my father's. Do not parlay with this madman. Serevok once had his chance to taste of goodness, but he spat it back out. Now he may taste boot leather instead. You speak of the past. I speak of the future. Well, aspirant, do the shades of yesterday speak for you too? There are two paths to the Temple of Baal. To carve your devotion into flesh, or to be the carcass that is carved upon. Mm. You get to my age, you have already done everything. Be my guest. We have already smashed Seravok's soul from his body once. Who says it is your turn? And so, the Harper and the idiot Ranger raise their weapons against Saravok once more. Your hubris will be your undoing, as it was once mine. Only this time, you will fall. And Baal will have his offering by my hand. Got it. used to this taking of turns. Whose battle cry is too high for your hearing? But you should tremble all this essay. Trembling! <laughs> 
by your command. has died on god flesh you are but a tiny crumb But not today.
Fight now? Who is that who is taking up turrets?
to surrender. done this day. Well, well, well. All's well that ends. No, not as bad as it could have. These boots have seen everything. Oi! Citizen! Get me out of here! Citizen! Thank the gods you're here! My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Can't keep me out. Thanks for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those Baalist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I... Uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. After our chat at Charesse's caress, I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. I started coming over all woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I bid you good day, but it's been royally shite all round. You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. But you... well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? Mind who you call history, Holyphant. The wrinkled orb is correct. Boo remembers the stench of the temple still. Very good. Now, let's talk and find that temple.
turn your animal. You'll be safe out. You asked me to come here. Don't you remember? Yes. Ah. Oh. Tell me, how did your investigations into the Barlish Tribunal go? So he was back. I was right. This is excellent news. Tell me everything. I wish I could put half as much into my final report, but, well, I think my superiors would rather I just stick to the facts. Nonetheless, thank you. You should think about joining the fish, you know. We could do with more people like you. Told you about eight times now. You. How many times do I need to say it? You sent word about a lead, said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? My daughter, Vanra. My little girl, she's missing. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... <coughs> she was... <coughs> <coughs> taken from a tavern? Yes. The blushing mermaid down by the docks I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? Excuse me, citizen, but if this is a criminal matter, it's my business, not yours. Now, madam, if you'll just tell me why you're here, I'll take down the details. Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken, just up by the docks. No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table, but they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes, but it was only a quick one. Of course. The front of house, Boston Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. This place is damn near overrun. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open, evil. Maybe both. No one back home will ever believe this. <laughs> Moving in. You have a laugh! 